Hi guys, welcome to Veggie Mama today. I am going to be making some chickpeas or garbanzo bean sausage. This is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be roasting some bell peppers, onions, green onions, artichoke, roast those, and I'm going to have my um, chick bouillon right here, gluten free vegan, and um, have my this is my black pepper replacement, which is papaya seed. I'm going to put some of that in there. So stay tuned, guys. Just let's put this together. Okay, as you see, I have my cast iron going here. And because my bell pepper was in the freezer, I'm going to put these first in there because of the liquid. Just let it just sit and roast in there. And I just add the rest to it with the vegetable. You can see I have no oil in the pot. I'm just letting it roll. There's the oil that's in this. That was just the cold, the um, protect the the cast iron. So that's all you need to do. Okay, guys. I'm finished with the with my roast bell pepper. Next, I'm going to add the artichoke to it. And my, my artichoke is finished. And last, but not least, I'm going to put in the onions and the green onions in it. Okay guys, I'm finished with my roasted vegetable. And my reason for roasting the vegetable to give, is to give the sausage a nice flavor. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna be do, doing is um, mix the two bouillon cubes, a little bit of oil just to dissolve it. Then I'm gonna um, just go like this. And next I'm going to be putting it with the chickpeas flour and the herbs that I have. I'm going to mix up that together. See, like this. Okay, it's good enough. Okay, so I'm going to put the flour in this container. I'm going to put two cups of flour in there. Chickpeas flour. That was one. Okay. So next I have some herbs here. Some dry thyme that I have. Dry in my day I drink. I'm going to put it in there. And also some rosemary. Give it a nice flavor. You don't need to put salt in there because the the veg the chick bouillon already have sodium, so you don't have to put any salt in there. Like I said before. Okay, and I'm gonna put my my black pepper in there, which is my papaya seed. Generous amount. Good for the gut, by the way. If you got gut issues, it's good for it. And let's mix it around. Okay, next I'm gonna put this in there. I already have my pan on the stove heating up so I could let me finish mixing this I could just I'm just gonna pour it in there it was one cup of water so I'm just mixing it around then I'm gonna put it on the stove and then next I'm gonna um with the roast, roasted vegetable I'm just gonna pulse it in the food processor get that going You want to be this consistency. So that was two cups of flour, one cup of cold water. Guys, okay, so I have my vegetables in the roasted vegetable in the food processor. So I'm just gonna um, pulse it, chop it up. Okay, guys, so I have the the pot on the stove going, and I did add some coconut oil to it. And I'm gonna put in this in there, the batter. Okay, 
trying to get every every bit of it in there okay I'm gonna put the roast vegetable just a vegetable I'm gonna start it along like this mix it in mix it in you know like turn corn if you're from Jamaica it make turn corn meal yes just like that. Hmm. I could even use it for polenta. How about that, guys? Really good. Just stir this around. Maybe for a good 10 15 minutes. And I will show you the finished product, guys. Okay, guys, this is finished, and I'm telling you, it's so good. So, what I'm going to do, and I'm going to put it in a. Um, parchment paper and wrap it around to give that sausage circular shape look at that so it's finished it's hot that's what i'm doing Whew. you could put this in two to make three sausage and three sausage like this you know you shape it This is one. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Such as two. Such as three. Three. Such as three, right? Such <laughs> as <is> three. <laughs> You Jamaican, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. So here you have it, guys. Chickpea sausage. I'm not finished yet. I'm going to be showing you. You could serve this with anything. And what you can do, you get like, when it's completely cool, just wrap it up in a parchment, in parchment paper, you know, with your um, foil paper. And store it in the fridge. You could put, you could put your um, you could spray, put some spray in there to give it that nice sheen. You have it. It's, it's it is so delicious, guys. But guys, follow this simple recipe here. It is really good. Okay, guys. So this is what I did. I couldn't do it with the camera on so I got some coconut oil you could use whatever oil you have and I just rub it in my hand and just rub it on the such to give that nice you see different between before I put the um the oil on there so do you have it guys your own chickpeas sausage you gotta try it's really good okay guys so I said I was gonna make something to serve with the sausage so this is what I do. This is what I did. I have this um, rock that you could use to make um, your own taco shell. And you could use your tortilla to make taco. That's, that's what I did. So I'm going to be placing some, just some lettuce. Some lettuce in here. Some avocado and tomatoes. Hands are clean. And I'm gonna put some of the sausage in there. With that. And I, I can sprinkle some cheese if I want to in there too. A little bit of cheese. So you can make it fun. You know, make whatever you want to make with it. You could do sandwiches, you could do whatever you want to do, but this is really, really good. I can't wait to. I'm going to try it, guys. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. It's so good. It's really, really good, guys. Mmm. 
once again hope you guys try this recipe it's really good i'm thinking about gluten replacement i'm thinking about so much ideas i could do with this so try this recipe like this video share and subscribe thanks for watching